Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quest for Knowledge. Today we are going to discuss very important 6 marks for your economics examination which is macroeconomic identity. If you write the 6 formulas to calculate national income, I mean these all are the, if you write the 6 formulas you will be easily able to get 6 marks. So first we have is gross domestic product. So the goods and services produced in a domestic country over a period of time is called as gross domestic product. So the over a period of time it can be one year. Okay. So C is consumption, I is investment, G is government expenditure, X is export and M is import. So C plus I plus G plus X minus M is called as GDP. Now we will understand what is net domestic product. This is GDP. Whenever the word GDP, it means you need to understand the goods and services produced in a domestic country over a period of time is called as GDP. The formula of GDP is C plus I plus G plus X minus N. Net domestic product is when you remove depreciation from GDP, it is called as NDP. You need to give the definition for depreciation. It is the decrease in the capital due to daily use or wear and tear is called as depreciation. After this, we need to write about GNP, which is the money value of the final goods and services produced in a domestic country over a period of time, example one year, is called as GNP. So the formula for GNP is GDP plus income from abroad minus income gone to abroad. So NNP, NNP is when you remove depreciation from GNP, we get NNP. So now NNP is at two cost. One is factor cost and another is market price. So G, uh, NNP at market cost is C plus I plus G plus X minus M is market cost. In that if you remove indirect tax, you will get NNP at factor cost. So NNP at factor cost is equal to our national income. Okay, after that how we will calculate personal income out of national income so that we have a formula to apply. So national income minus undistributed profit minus corporate tax minus interest paid to firm and government by household. Only one thing we need to add which is interest paid to household by firm and government. When you add this you will get personal income. After that we have personal disposable income. PDI is equals to PI minus tax plus non-tax payment. So personal income minus tax plus non-tax payment we get personal disposable income. This personal disposable income can be saved and consumed. Okay. So non-tax payment means what the non-tax payment means any kind of fine and penalty when you pay that uh, with along with tax after removing those tax and non-tax payment whatever the rest of the money left is uh, the personal disposable income which we can consume and save so if you write this six formulas you're surely gonna get six marks without much of hustle and easily you can get a score six marks if you found this video helpful do like share and subscribe and comment in the comment box and share it with your friends and thank you so much for watching